James Com, the guy on the bike, bringing you more half-assed reporting in today. We're in front of Hauser and Worth on West 18th Street, and we're going to go inside. And you guys are going to be in for a big, big treat. And we're going to see the show. Philip Gustin Painter, 1957 and 1967. Oh boy. Well, when I got the notice of uh, this particular show in my email, I posted a link to it on my Facebook page and I probably got about uh, 50 likes. And, uh, People have been anxiously waiting for this opening for at least four, four months. Now, I'm not going to have a chance to uh, cover everything in the show. So, uh, oh man, this is like a museum grade show. Well, one of the great things about this show is that um, it really is focusing on a bunch of work. No video? <laughs> okay, this is focusing on a bunch of of work that uh, he did kind of transitionally between his abstract impressionism and his figurative stuff. Well, as you heard, uh, theoretically I'm not supposed to be making any videos, so if I get anything done it's all going to be undercover. Most of these pieces are from 1957. This is turn 1959. And I think that's probably about 24 by 30. We'll see if somebody stops me and throws me out. Turn about. This really looks like a museum grade show and uh, well all the art world people are here. Remember I'm doing this undercover so I can't get all the titles and everything. Try to get some surface detail. a period of transition for Gustin between his uh, abstract impressionism and his figure stuff. This is about a 10 year period. This is 1957 to 1967. And uh, you can almost get uh, kind of harbingers of figurative things happening here. Hey, there's Jerry and Roberta. Well, doing this undercover. This is titled Garden M. 1960. 68 by 78 inches. And uh, he's definitely gotten, gotten, gotten dark with his palette. And uh, also there's a lot of uh, bare canvas. This is Accord 1, 1962. Uh, well, I think Gustin is a very interesting artist, and uh, I started seeing his work when I first came to New York uh, in the late 70s, and he was showing with David McKay at the Barbizon Hotel. It's called Path 4. Strangely enough, he was one of the most popular and recognized of, I guess, not exactly the action painters, but what was called the uh, abstract impressionists. He and people like Joan Mitchell and maybe Sam Francis. And uh, he got a lot of uh, attention. This is titled Path 2. This 
62 by 71. Well, at one point, um, when he switched over to doing the figurative stuff, I think it was Hilton Kramer who wrote a uh, review called uh, A Mandarin Masquerading as a Stumble Bum for the New York Times. Some works on paper. And uh, there were a lot of people who were shocked when he went to his uh, kind of Ku Klux Klan figurative cartoony stuff. And uh, these paintings are from the 60s, 1965, 64. Am I doing what? It's kind of titled Reverse. But you can almost see that he's got like uh, little heads almost floating in there on these gray fields. This is a selection of drawings, 1967 and 1969, 48 drawings, charcoal and ink on paper. And uh, it's gotten down to some very simple, kind of almost geometrical forms. Okay, so we have to play like we're taking still photographs here. This is from the early 60s. These three are from 1965. I will uh, try to get ind individual views of them. This is Inhabitor. It's 1965. May 65. 1965. It's titled Afternoon 1964, 74 by 80 inches. Well, if you notice the abrupt end of the coverage, that's because I just got run out. The uh, head guard, the, the director of the guard task force, uh, informed me that the management had. Uh, decided that they got to get rid of me, so that was my little try to get you a view of Philip Guston paintings 1957 and 1967 here at Hauser and Worth on West 18th Street in Chelsea, and thank you, Kate. Thanks, Rashid. How are you, Brandon? That was nice. Good, good. You good?